Box Jellyfish The box jellyfish is often called the deadliest creature in the ocean, and for good reason. Since records began in 1883, these nearly invisible killers have caused over 70 deaths in Australia. They lurk in tropical waters, making it easy for swimmers to stumble into them without even realizing it. Take the tragic case of a 17-year-old boy swimming near Bamaga, Queensland. He was stung so severely that he had to be airlifted to a hospital and placed in intensive care. Despite doctors' best efforts, he passed away a week later. Even the slightest touch from their tentacles releases venom that attacks the heart, nervous system, and skin all at once. The sting causes excruciating pain, often described as feeling like the skin is burning from the inside out. Many victims don't realize they've been stung right away. Then, the pain kicks in, intense and relentless. Muscles lock up, breathing becomes difficult, and in the worst cases, the heart stops. Many victims drown because they're paralyzed before they can even call for help. The scariest part is that you usually don't see them coming. Their nearly transparent bodies blend right into the water, and without quick medical help, their venom can stop a person's heart within minutes. They don't need to chase their victims. One accidental brush is all it takes. Right now, northern Queensland is dealing with an early surge of these deadly jellyfish. Warm weather has brought them to shore sooner than expected, leading to 75 beach closures this season. Authorities have already captured several, including eight at Imeo Beach, and some are growing larger than usual. Because of this, officials are urging swimmers to wear protective gear and learn first aid for jellyfish stings. Eastern Brown Snake The Eastern Brown Snake is the second most venomous land snake in the world and the deadliest in Australia. Its bite can cause dangerous blood clotting, and without quick treatment, it can be fatal. Eastern brown snakes are responsible for most snake bite deaths in Australia, causing 60% of fatal bites, including 23 of 35 cases between 2000 and 2016. One tragic case happened in November 2024, when 16-year-old Bowhorn was bitten on the foot in his backyard. He thought it was just a scratch and didn't take it seriously, but his condition quickly got worse. He collapsed, was rushed to the hospital, and put on life support. Sadly, he didn't make it and passed away three days later. The venom of an eastern brown snake is incredibly potent. It can cause internal bleeding, organ failure, and death, sometimes in minutes. That's why getting medical help is immediately critical. These snakes aren't just found in the wild. They often turn up in cities like Adelaide, Melbourne, Canberra, Sydney, and Brisbane. They prefer areas close to humans, so encounters happen more often than people realize. A bite can happen in an instant, while gardening, hiking, or even just walking through your backyard. Eastern brown snakes are fast and highly defensive. If they feel threatened, they strike without warning, and without quick medical treatment, survival chances drop fast. Saltwater Crocodile Saltwater crocodiles are some of the most dangerous predators in Australia. These massive reptiles can grow up to 23 feet long and weigh over a ton. They're incredibly strong, extremely territorial, and have a hunting style that's all about patience. They lurk just below the water's surface, barely visible, before launching a lightning-fast attack, giving their prey almost no chance to escape. Although attacks are rare, saltwater crocodiles are responsible for about two deaths in Australia each year. Between 1971 and 2004, there were 62 recorded attacks, 17 of them fatal. Most of these happened in the Northern Territory in Queensland, where crocs are most common. One of them happened in August 2024. Dr. David Hogman, a 40-year-old from New South Wales, was hiking with his wife near the Annan River in far north Queensland. He slipped and fell into crocodile-infested waters, and before he could get out, a massive croc grabbed him. His wife, Jane, tried to pull him to safety, but realizing the danger, David let go of her hand to save her. The crocodile, known locally as Mr. Banks, dragged him under. Wildlife authorities later tracked it down and euthanized it. What makes saltwater crocodiles so deadly is their ambush strategy. They wait silently near the water's edge, blending into their surroundings, then explode into action with shocking speed. Once they grab their prey, they use a brutal move called the death roll, spinning their victims underwater until there's no chance of escape. Even something as simple as swimming, fishing, or standing too close to the water in crocodile territory can turn deadly in seconds. Redback Spider the redback spider is one of Australia's most dangerous spiders despite its small size. Female redbacks, which pose the real threat, grow to about 0.4 inches long with long, thin legs and a shiny black body. A bright red or orange stripe on their rounded abdomen makes them easy to recognize, and some even have an hourglass marking underneath. Males are much smaller, about 0.2 inches, and their venom isn't strong enough to harm humans. Redback venom targets the nervous system, causing intense pain, nausea, sweating, and muscle spasms. In severe cases, it can lead to paralysis or breathing difficulties. 
Before an antivenom was introduced in 1956, at least 14 people in Australia died from its bite. While deaths are now rare, the effects can still be severe. Around 2,000 Australians are bitten each year, with about 250 needing antivenom. In 2016, a red back bite resulted in Australia's first spider-related death in nearly 40 years. Jaden Burley, a 22-year-old from Sydney, was bitten while hiking in New South Wales. At first, he ignored it but his condition quickly worsened. A painful abscess developed, leading to hospitalization, and he later died from complications. His case was rare, but served as a reminder of how dangerous these spiders can be. Redbacks prefer dry, hidden places to spin their webs. They often settle in sheds, garages, mailboxes, outdoor furniture, and even inside shoes left outside. Since they rarely move from their webs, most bites happen when someone unknowingly gets too close. For adults, a bite can cause days of severe pain. But for children, the elderly, or those with weaker immune systems, the risks are even greater. Even with antivenom, the pain can be unbearable, making the redback one of Australia's most feared spiders. Funnel Web Spider The Sydney Funnel Web Spider is one of the deadliest spiders out there. It's got a shiny black body, thick legs, and strong fangs that can pierce through a fingernail. These spiders can grow up to 2 inches long, and while both males and females are venomous, the males are even more dangerous especially because they tend to wander around looking for mates when the weather is warm. Their venom is incredibly toxic and goes straight for the nervous system, causing muscle spasms, trouble breathing, and, in worst cases, death. Before an antivenom was introduced in 1981, 13 people lost their lives to funnel web bites. Thankfully, no one has died since, but getting bitten is still a medical emergency. Survivors describe the experience as terrifying. In February 2023, 19-year-old Ollie Kay from Sydney was bitten while he was asleep. He woke up to burning pain in his arm and saw a glossy black spider crawling on his bed. Within minutes, he was drenched in sweat, dizzy, and his heart was pounding. He was rushed to the hospital, where doctors had to give him two doses of antivenom. At one point, things got so bad they had to resuscitate him. He pulled through, but spent three days recovering in the hospital. Funnel webs love dark, damp places like gardens, under logs, and even inside homes. Most bites happen when people accidentally disturb their burrows or when wandering males end up indoors. Since symptoms can kick in fast, getting medical help right away is absolutely crucial. Great White Shark The Great White Shark is easily one of the most feared predators in the ocean. These giants can grow up to 20 feet long and weigh over 4,400 pounds. With razor-sharp teeth, powerful jaws, and incredible speed, they're built for hunting and can deliver a devastating bite. Shark attacks are a serious concern in Australia. On average, about 20 incidents happen each year, with nearly three deaths annually. And in 2023 alone, four people lost their lives to shark bites. One heartbreaking case happened on February 3rd, 2025. 17-year-old Charlie Zamuda was swimming at Worham Beach on Breby Island, Queensland, when a shark attacked her. Bystanders and paramedics did everything they could, but sadly, she didn't make it. This was the third fatal shark attack in Queensland in just three months leaving people even more worried about the growing number of incidents. Great white sharks don't go after humans on purpose, but their sheer power makes any bite potentially deadly. Most attacks happen to surfers, swimmers, and divers who unknowingly cross paths with one another. A lot of the time, the shark bites once and swims away, but that one bite is often enough to cause life-threatening injuries. Without immediate medical help, the chances of survival drop fast. Bull Shark The bull shark isn't the biggest shark out there, but it's definitely one of the toughest. With a thick, muscular body, a broad snout, and small black eyes, it's built for quick, powerful attacks. They can grow up to 11 and a half feet long and weigh over 660 pounds. Not as long as a great white, but way bulkier. What makes bull sharks especially scary is how aggressive and adaptable they are. Most sharks stick to salt water, but these guys can swim in both salt and fresh water. That means they're not just in the ocean. They show up in rivers, lakes, and even areas where people regularly swim. Because they prefer shallow, murky water near beaches, they're responsible for a lot of shark attacks. While fatal attacks are rare, one case happened in January 2023. A 16-year-old girl was swimming in the Swan River near Fremantle, Western Australia, when a bull shark attacked her. Despite rescue efforts, she didn't make it. It was the first deadly shark attack in that river in over 100 years, leaving the whole community in shock. For most people, a bull shark attack can come out of nowhere. Whether you're swimming, surfing, fishing, or just standing in shallow water, one encounter could turn deadly. Unlike great whites, which sometimes bite humans by mistake, bull sharks tend to bite multiple times, making them even more dangerous. Fast, aggressive, and able to live in places where no one expects a shark, they're easily one of the deadliest sharks to humans. Irukandji Jellyfish 
The Irukandji jellyfish might be tiny, but don't let its size fool you. It's one of the most dangerous creatures in Australian waters. Found in the north, this little jellyfish is only about the size of a fingernail, around 0.4 to 0.8 inches across. It's almost completely clear, with a small box-shaped body and thin tentacles, which makes it nearly impossible to spot in the water. That's what makes it so dangerous. Swimmers don't even know it's there until it's too late. Even though it's small, the Irukandji carries a venom that causes something called Irukandji syndrome. This isn't just a regular jellyfish sting. It can lead to unbearable pain, vomiting, a racing heart, and in rare cases, deadly brain hemorrhages. While deaths don't happen often, with only two confirmed cases in Australia since 1883, the real danger is how sneaky this jellyfish is. The symptoms don't hit right away, so people might not even realize they've been stung until much later. A tragic case happened in 2002, when a 58-year-old tourist was swimming near Hamilton Island in Queensland. At first, he didn't even know he'd been stung. But as his symptoms got worse, he was rushed to the hospital. Sadly, despite receiving medical care, he didn't survive. This case shows just how serious an Irukandji sting can be, especially for people with underlying health issues. Most people at risk are just doing normal beach activities, swimming, snorkeling, or diving in places where these jellyfish live. Because they're so tiny and clear, people often don't even realize they've been stung until the pain kicks in, sometimes minutes or even hours later. This delay can be misleading making people think they're fine when they're actually in serious danger. The fact that it can sting without being seen and cause so much pain makes it a real threat to anyone enjoying Australia's waters. Tiger Snake The tiger snake is one of Australia's most dangerous snakes, and it's found in the southern parts of the country including Tasmania. It gets its name from its tiger-like stripes, though its colors range from olive and yellow to brown and black. These snakes are usually around 3 to 5 feet long, with a thick body and a broad head. Tiger snakes are responsible for quite a few snake bites in Australia. Between 2005 and 2015, they made up 17% of recorded cases, with 4 deaths out of 119 confirmed bites. Their venom is seriously potent. It can cause paralysis, blood clotting problems, and muscle damage. If someone doesn't get medical help fast, a bite can be fatal. One heartbreaking case happened in January 2020, when a 78-year-old sheep farmer in Tasmania was bitten multiple times by a large tiger snake while working on his farm. He was airlifted to the hospital, but despite doctors' efforts, he didn't make it. Most people who get bitten don't even see the snake until it's too late. They usually run into them by accident in wetlands, grasslands, or coastal areas. Hikers, gardeners, and farmers are especially at risk, especially if they're not wearing proper boots or clothing. Tiger snakes aren't aggressive, but they will defend themselves if they feel threatened or cornered. The scariest thing about a tiger snake bite is how fast it works. One moment, you might not even realize you've been bitten, and the next, you could be in serious trouble.